Thank you, Star. Lori Bagwell defeated incumbent John McKenna to capture a seat on the Carson City Board of Supervisors in last week's election. Our staff's reporter Jeff sat down with the incoming Ward 3 supervisor to chat about her goals for her upcoming term. Hi, uh, Jeff Vast here with uh, Lori Bagwell. Lori has been a, elected as the supervisor of Ward 3 in our recent um, elections. And uh, we're here to talk with Lori a little bit, get to know her, and uh, understand some of the priorities uh, that she brings to our uh, Board of Supervisors over the next four years. So, Lori, welcome. Thank you. And um, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you come to Nevada and uh, Carson City, and what do you do here? Well, uh, my parents brought me from uh, California when I was four years old because they thought the Bay Area was just a little too big for them mm -hmm. and thought they would raise their children in a smaller community. So I've been here since I was four. I graduated from Carson High? I graduated from Carson High and Western Nevada Community College at that time. Okay, great. And um, so then uh, what do you do other than be a, a supervisor for uh, Carson City? Well, I have worked 30 years in the state government. Mm -hmm. I ended my career at the Department of Corrections as the Deputy Director and then my husband and I decided that uh, we would open a business in Carson City so we own Charlie's Grilled Subs at the Carson Mall. Oh, okay. So we're small business owners that work their store every day. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Now, uh, Lori, what do you think, um, uh, first of all, congratulations on being elected. Uh, 7,500 voters voted for you, uh, which was a majority. And uh, so that's congratulations to you. Thank you and um, but for the the folks that didn't vote for you, maybe not know you, what are some of the things you stand for? I see you've got you've got a nickel here in your hand. So buffalo nickel. <laughs> <laughs> so what what is that, and what does that uh, remind you of? What does that bring to us? Well, 25 years ago, my husband gave me two of these buffalo nickels in my Christmas stocking <laughs> of all things. And I thought, why are you doing this? And he says to me, well, you're the only woman that I know that can rub two nickels together and get a sixth penny. <laughs> and I've kind of kept these those whole 25 years, my whole working career, because they actually remind me what my role in government is, and that is to be a caretaker of the taxpayer's money. And so that's what I hope to bring to the Board of Supervisors, is that I always make every decision with the best interest of the community and the taxpayers and that I know my job is to take care of their money. Wonderful. And what do you think uh, some of the priorities uh, for the Board of Supervisors will be over the next uh, over the next four years? Obviously we've got this uh, downtown redevelopment happening, uh, some other things on the agenda. So what do you think are, are some of the important issues that you'd like to uh, talk about? Well for me I know that I'd like to make sure the animal shelter gets completed. Uh, we should be seeing some drawings and, and some design work on that shortly, but I think that that's definitely something we need to get accomplished here as soon as possible. I'd like to work on some economic development around the airport. I think that's where we have some property and land that the city can work with and expand so that we can put more of our taxpayers to work here in Carson City. I know the Tesla project is coming, but I'd like to see if we can't um, capitalize on that right here in, in our home and have the people stay close to, close to home to work so they don't have to drive so far. Right. Well, we've talked a little bit about the Tesla project uh, on some previous news broadcasts, so uh, that's definitely part of what Carson City is looking forward to. Uh, it may not be quite as direct as, right. as maybe Fernley or, or some of the outlying areas, but uh, definitely some, some possibilities for Carson City growth there. So that's going to be exciting oh, too. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to being a part of that and seeing what we can do to do the best for our own residents. Great. Well, thank you very much, Lori. I really appreciate you coming in and uh, talking with us. Um, Lori Bagwell, Ward 3 Supervisor-Elect. You, you take office uh, in the January meeting, right? Right. It'll actually be January 5th okay. because the first is a holiday. Okay. So uh, we'll see Lori on January 5th in the uh, Carson City's Board of Supervisors meeting. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff. Really appreciate it.